Hey everybody, Poker Dad here. Uh, time for another YouTube video. Haven't done a YouTube video, um, I guess a YouTube video specifically for YouTube in quite a while. Uh, and haven't done a Poker Snowy video in a while either. So what I'm going to be doing here in this particular video is we are going to be doing a half hour of uh, Poker. I have maybe about 20 minutes. We'll do 20 minutes. Make this video about 20 minutes of um, just uh, running through Poker Snowy and uh, seeing what kind of errors that maybe that it it comes up with here that we're going to want to take a look at and see if we're playing it right or wrong based on what um, Snowy uh, is saying. And let's just kind of see if we can analyze it as well. So let's run through this. We're going to do this for 20 for 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's get started here. Of course, we're definitely going to be folding Jack-6 offsuit. And we're playing NL20, by the way, here. So here we definitely want to fold uh, the 8-6 offsuit. And I'm going to be using my ranges that I'd be using normally here. Um, definitely want to open up here, King Eight, and we get a call. Uh, so at a position here, uh, let's see, we have uh, a gut shot. Um, so the question is, like, would we check or raise here? Because we have also a backdoor flush draw. Um, I'm actually interested in doing a check raise here. Our opponent checks back now, so now we definitely just want to throw out a pro bet here. Um, a little bit on the larger side since we had a pre-flop raiser. So I'm going to go with a three-quarters. Uh, actually, really, I'm going to go with uh, an eight, 80-cent bet here. And that's correct. So uh, if we make a mistake, by the way, um, Snowy will actually let us know. Uh, an error will pop up letting us know. Um, okay, here we have 8-9. We will fold. And Jack-9 here, we can open up. I've been opening up this with my particular range. Snowy seems okay with it. And we get 3-bet, we can definitely fold. So I want to make sure I set this up correctly, of course, because we haven't made any mistakes yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Um, here, so uh, Queen-Jack offsuit, we're going to open up here from middle position. I guess I feel good we have not made any mistakes yet. To fold up Jack 10. And of course, we'll definitely just check Queen 9 here. And our opponent bets into us here. Um, we could definitely just fold his hand. Fold up to 6 2. Jack 4 suited. We can open up here. We're going to mid open it. And our opponent checks to us here. Um, so I'm implying, I'm, I'm employing a hundred percent CVS strategy here. So we're going to bet one third pot, which is always plus EV to C bet one third pot with any two cards. Uh, ace nine here, we're going to open up from cutoff. Six, two, we'll fold this up. Two, three, we can fold. Uh, seven four here. We're definitely gonna fold. Ace three here. We can fold from the small blind. Four five offsuit. We can fold here to the under the gun open. Fold seven three. And um, uh, eight ten here from middle position is gonna be a fold. Five two we fold. Uh, Ace-10 here, we're going to fold when a 3-bet comes here from the button. 7-2 off, of course, we're going to fold this up. And Jack-6 will fold. 8-9. King-10, we can fold to the open. Ace-9, we're going to fold under the gun. Obviously, we can fold up Jack-5 suited here to the under the gun open. King-7, we can fold to the button open. So, pocket force here, I think we're definitely just going to call. And we'll play in position. We have a set. So, we're going to bet half pot here since we were the caller. Opponent checks. Definitely want to bet again here. Um, again, we're going to bet half pot. 
And we'll take that one down. Uh, King 10 offsuit, we're going to fold from middle, middle position. Jack 6, we can fold. King 3, we'll fold this up. A2, of course, we can fold. Pocket aces, obviously, we're going to open up. We're going to open up 2x from the button. Get a call. And we'll throw out a one third pot size bet. And we get raised here. Um, I think just the correct play is just a call. We don't want to re-raise. So we just call here. So here's an interesting spot when we hit a um when we hit a set. So let's just think about what he might have been raising with here. Um we opened up in the button, he called us in the big blind. Um, he could definitely have been calling us with any kind of two pairs like King Jacks, which he could have. Um, there are um, nine combos of King Jack that he could have. Um, King Nine, Jack Nine, all hands that he could possibly have two pair of hands when calling from the um, when calling from the big blind versus bu versus min button open. So we could have any of those. Um, he likely does not have a set of Jacks or a set of Kings. That would be very unlikely because he would have three bet those. Um, pocket nines again, he could always have a set of nines as well. So, um, and then in terms of draws that he could have, um, that might call here, uh, well, straight draw would be queen 10, which is possible for him to have something like a queen 10 draw, which would have hit a straight. Um, that actually would have been straight also on the, um, on the flop as well. So this becomes a really, really interesting spot, but being that we're in position, I don't think we can check here. Um, the question then becomes, is an under bet the right play here? Or do we go with a larger size bet? Very interesting. I mean, because there is a lot here that can beat us. I'm almost interested to throw out an under bet here. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And we'll take it down. Uh, two, three here. We're going to fold it up. So, you know, we're going to play. Yeah, I think the idea is we're going to play here for, um, for 20 minutes. And then we're going to go and take a look and see if we made any mistakes. Although we, we should pretty much know that because of the fact that Snowy is, um, going to be giving us live advice when need be, of course. Um, here with the pocket tens, we're definitely going to open this up. And here we get three bet. We definitely just want to call. Our opponent bets into us a little bit below half pot. We have um, top pair here. So we, we have the option here of raising or just calling. Um, I think that calling is the is the better play here, though. I don't see what raising will do for us except for keeping um, other over pairs. We don't want to turn tens into a bluff here. So I think we're just going to call the tens. And ace comes about out. He bets half pot again. Um, I don't think that we can fold here to an ace, um, especially to a half pot bet. So like, we got to call tens. And now when he bets, when the queen comes out, I think we can safely fold up this hand when he goes all in. Uh, King eight here, we're going to fold under the gun. And ace two here, we're just going to call. And we have, a, we have a backdoor flush draw. This actually is a really interesting spot for a check raise. And the reason why it's an interesting spot for a check raise is because this flop here is going to, it really does mesh our range better than it would his. Plus, it's a paired board. We do also have a backdoor enough flush draw, which gives us some incentive also to check raise here. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do here if he, do, if he decides to bet. So he does. So we're going to throw out a... Check raise. And let's see what Snowy thinks about this when I decide to do this. Snowy might think that folding is the best play here as well. But I think that this is a great opportunity just to take down a pot by check raising. So, and I guess Snowy agreed because Snowy didn't tell us we couldn't do it. That we shouldn't do it. So, uh, 10-4 here. We're going to min open from the button. Get a call. And we have the full straw. We're going to bet third pot. And we'll take that one down. Uh, King Jack here. We're going to fold to the under the gun open. A3 here. We can fold this up. 
six two will fold. I'm assuming live advice is working. It, it worked when I tried it with for tournament play, so we'll find out. Uh, here, I think this is a good spot for a pot size float bet on this board. And we'll take it down. And pocket fives here will open up. So we go multi way here. Um, here's a spot that we really should throw out an under bet. Get a call. Our point checks. Now I think with the fives, we can just check back here. And I think we can easily fall to a bet here. A pot size bet. Pocket eights will open up here, 60 cents. We get a call. Uh, we're going to see bet here, third pot. Call comes in here. Now at the eights, we're just going to check back. And we'll just go check, check again. Uh, I don't really see much value in betting here and turning our eights into a bluff. I don't think it's necessary. Um, we do lose, obviously, to any jack, nine, or queen. Um, we don't block any. We don't block any diamonds, though. Um, so, I mean, obviously, if we bet here, the whole idea is to get a three, a nine, or a queen to fold. Um, because we check back on the turn, it would be less believable that we have a flush here. Because if we had a flush draw, it's probably a good chance that we're going to actually uh, double barrel on the turn. And the three, obviously, coming out is a low card, um, not really in our opening range. So, I think we're just better off. Um, Obviously, just checking here and uh, hoping to win with a pair of eights. And we do. We take it down. 10-6, we're going to fold this up. Pocket aces, of course, we're going to open this up from under the gun. And we'll just take it down. And 7-6 here, uh, we're just going to fold. 3-2, we fold this one up. 9-4 um, here. Let me take a look at my ranges real quick. Uh, we can open this up because it's suited. And we have a flush draw. We're going to throw out a one-third pot size bet. And our opponent raises us here. I think we can definitely call because we have the flush draw. And also, this raise is so small. We do hit our flush now. Uh, he checks to us here. We definitely want to bet. We're going to bet three quarters pot. And he'll fold it. 8 5, we're going to fold. Queen 6. 2 3. Uh, here we're just going to call um, in the big blind with ace 4 suited. And on the stickle board here, we're just going to give up. He checks. Um, so now we definitely do want to throw out a pro bet here. We're going to throw out a half pot pro bet. And we'll just take it down. King five, we're going to fold this up. Nine three, we can fold. Ace four, we're going to open up from the cutoff. And just take it down. Ace four here, we can fold from middle position. Nine three will fold. Uh, ten seven here, we're going to fold this up. Ten two, we can fold. Um, Ace eight here, I think is actually is actually more a call here. Ace eight suited. And. So this is this is one of those really interesting spots here where we could really check behind with ace eight. We don't have to float bet this. One second, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee here. So, I while I think we could bet, I don't think there's any harm in actually just checking behind here with our aces below like a hand like ace ten. So, let's do that. Let's check behind. Now we hit two pair, of course. We're going to bet half pot here. And we'll just take it down. Ace 
Ace five here, of course, we're going to open up from middle position. And we'll just take that down. Ace jack here, we're going to open from under the gun. And we get a call, we're playing out of position. Uh, so we're just going to be looking to check our entire range here. We definitely do want to call, though, with second pair. Also, having the ace of, ace of spades is also very helpful here. Our opponent bets, and we're definitely going to call, of course. You know, he could be betting with, um, but, you know, he, he called us, right? So he could be under the gun versus middle position. So his, his range is going to be pretty strong. Going to have a lot of Broadway type hands. Um, he could always have something like a set of eights, which is possible. Um, now the spade coming out is, is pretty good for us considering we do have the ace of spades here. Um, so we're blocking a lot. He definitely doesn't have like many flushes here because also with the queen of spades being out there, so he doesn't have something like king queen suited. Um, which probably would have three bet anyway. Um, a lot of the suited Broadway combos would have might have three bet here. Um, obviously, doesn't have queen jack, doesn't have queen queen king. Um, in terms of the suited variety there, so we're definitely not worried about any kind of flushes here. We we have the ace of spades here. Um, so the hands that we're worried about most would be like queen jack, which we're blocking a jack as well. Um, so a pair of, pair of queens is really what I'm putting him on at this point, unless he has something like a a set of a set of eights here. Either way, we still do have the nut flush draw. Um, so we could, we could, but because we have the jack, we're not going to raise here, but we could think about raising here because we still do have some kind of showdown value. Um, so that's an interesting spot to wonder, should we check raise here on this turn when we do have the ace of spades um, and, the, and the spade comes out? I mean, interesting. Um, let's see. So we check. He bets $1.60. <clears throat> So, like, the question is, do we just call here? What's better, calling? Well, if he's betting us here with a set or even just, like, a pair of queens, right? I think we could take this pot down right now where maybe if we just call, we're put in a spot where we're going to have to fold a lot of rivers. So instead of having to fold a lot of rivers, so there's actually, there's actually another potential play here as well, actually. Now that I think about it, there is another potential play here which we can do. We can call and then check shove the river, actually. Let's try that. We're going to try that. We're going to call here. And no matter what comes out on the river, even if it's a, even if it's a spade, we're going to check shove the river. So we call. And now we're going to check shove here. And obviously, if he doesn't bet, then, then so be it. Uh, he doesn't bet, so he had a set of queens. Uh, so set of queens, I didn't put him on a set of queens at all. Um, because of the fact that, um, because of the fact that the Queens would normally three bet there. So I'm really, really surprised actually that Snowy did not three bet there. Very, very surprising actually. All right. We're going to play this one last hand and we're going to take a look at the results. Uh, so pocket fives here, of course, we're going to call. And I would love to actually look at that scenario real quick with the potential check raise. Uh, so pocket fives here, we're just going to give up check fold. It goes check, check. Um, so we're going to throw like an under bet here with our fives. He calls it. And then just looks to go check, check. And he'll take it down with tens, which is fine. All right. Let's close this out here. I'm going to pause the video for a second. And we're going to go over to the evaluation screen. So as you can see here, we played pretty darn good on an extraterrestrial level for the uh, for that short little session there. Um I don't think we made like we made no blunders. We made a few errors here. Uh, most of them are preflop. I'm not going to worry about preflop errors because we're playing with specific preflop ranges. So let's we'll see if we made any errors post flop. Um, okay, so um, on this hand with the fives, it didn't like our bet, but as you can see, we're not losing that much EV by betting here. So that's fine. That's why it wasn't an error. That's why it didn't come up and say we did the wrong thing. Um, so this is an interesting spot. It said here that we should have checked and that betting was actually minus EV. Uh, but the reason why I did this is because it's just an automatic profit spot um, that we should be able to get a lot of folds from really betting any two cards. So I don't really believe that's much of an error. And the only other stuff is preflop. Here in the turn with the fives, it thinks we should check betting was... Minus EV, uh, which, yeah, I guess I can understand that. Maybe betting was probably not the right play there. 
um, checking is checking is probably much better. So yeah, I don't I don't disagree with that. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is go to the scenario. Let's see if we can find the hand. Well, I'd like to be able to find that that hand. Um, okay, this is the hand. All right, so let's go. I want to see. Let's let's copy the scenario from this point. And let's get rid of his cards so it doesn't um, affect uh, combos or anything like that. So we don't know what cards he has, right? Um, so we're definitely going to check here. I want to take a look at two things. Check raising and check calling and then shoving on the turn. If uh, Check shoving on the turn here. So we check and our opponent bets, um, let's say he bets half pot. A little, more, a little more than half pot. Let's see. Three quarters is... All right, we'll just do two, three quarters. So bet, three quarters. So here, calling and raising is exactly the same. So if we raise, he folds. Um, That's great. So we can do either or. So let's call it like we did. And the river was a complete brick, right? So it was a nine. Again, we're going to check here. So now let's have him bet. Last time he checked. Let's have him bet. And let's let's shove. Well, as you can see, raising is actually minus EV here. Very interesting. Calling and folding is very similar. Let's see what happens if he bets small. Let's say, let's say he underbets. Now, all options are really the same. So we can shove, call, or raise. And just one other option I just want to see if he bets half pot. Shoving even becomes like more, more of the better play. We shove, and then he can fold. So let's see. I'm going to see something. Should If we shove, should he fold queens? We're going to shove. We're going to go all in. Yeah, he should be folding his set of queens there when we shove. We're blocking the ace of spades. I think that's really interesting. What if we're not blocking the ace of spades? What, what, what if we're just like spewing here and we're not blocking the ace of spades? I guess it doesn't really matter. But obviously it would not be a smart shove in that case. But I think that's interesting. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, do me a favor, if you like what you saw, please do me a favor and please subscribe uh, so you get notified when I have new YouTube videos up. Also, if you want to check me out on Twitch, I'm streaming every single night at twitch.tv slash pokerdad2878. Um, so we're always having a good time over there uh, streaming. Uh, we're actually doing a bankroll challenge right now. So um, if you're interested in what uh, my bankroll challenge is all about, you can check out uh, my previous video um, regarding my bankroll challenge. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate it as always. And until next time, Poker Dad, out.